Hi, my midgets. Welcome to hanging out with me and everything about me. Um, it's me, Chloe. Back at it again with my long ass hair, and I'm snapping bubblegum. And anyways, sometimes I still want to be on the topic about love, guys. Love is a crazy thing. Um, some days you feel like you're falling head over heels for somebody, and it's like. We did fall endlessly, and it was fucking beautiful, and it was fucking fun, and I had the time of my goddamn life, you know? And, like, so, I fell in love with a guy older than me, and I still love him. Like, if I could go for a coffee right now, I'd probably drink the shit out of that coffee, and then pretend like I didn't want to make up with his face. You know, like, you gotta play it cool, right? You gotta play it cool, calm and collective. This is what women like. They don't like to be damaged. They don't like to be fucking thought up. They don't like to be creeped on. If you're coming off as a shy, coy guy, yeah, you may never get anywhere. But if you're coming off as, like, hey, how's it going? All good? That's good. And then you open up to your crazy side. Or you're boring as fuck. It's okay to be boring as fuck. I love to watch movies and sit at home and do nothing too. But the only thing is like what people consider boring as fuck is. It's like a boring as fuck person is somebody who's kind of dumb. And you can't really carry on a conversation more than 45 minutes into. And I'm like, dude, I like to go longboarding. I like to chill out. I like to be Cal Bunga Fresh. Like, I'm a sap giver for the ocean. You wanna know why? Because the ocean knows what I want. It's like, come surfing. And I was like, what'd you say, ocean? Ocean says wave. And I'm like, oh, okay. I get the ocean, and the ocean gets me. <laughs> we wave at each other. Get it? That's funny. Come on. It's like, you gotta have jokes. You gotta be fresh with the jokage. Look at this shit. Anyways. It's like, you gotta be fresh with the jokes and stuff. And like, be serious about it. And be like, yo, I just came in off the water. And it's like, the water's fresh right now. Feeling very sublime. But all of us can be salty. Everybody has a salty attitude when it comes to, like, oh, my God, Becky. I can't believe he just, like, went over there and, like, talked to her for, like, no reason. And, like, it doesn't make sense to me at all, like, fucking at all. Because he's, like, supposed to be, like, the one I love. And, like, it's not a very good temperamentic temper. So we're just going to throw some salt on that. You know, like be salty, be sassy, be snappy, be gum snoopy, gum chewing bastard of a guy. But it's like, I'm in love with the badass. I think he's personally a badass. My mom's probably like, that is like not right. <laughs> it's like, shut up. You're going to give him my phone number whether you like it or not later. <sighs> because why? Falling for each other. <laughs> and it's like, yo, dudes, what else we gonna do about it? Right? Like, we got time. We got show up. We gotta know when to glow up, you know? I mean, check me out. This one, my shirt says, check me out. So, check me out. Get it? Check me out, nigga. Bring it up. Come to me. I'll show you a good time. Because I'm beautiful. On the inside. And the outside. See? Beauty. Beauty is key. Okay? So I decided to be everything that I want to be. And be a good Barbie. But it's like, I want to be a sugar baby so damn bad. It's so hard to make it in the real world sometimes. And it's like, I'll go back to school. 
maybe, probably. I'll come with you to your job. I'll be your fucking job cheerleader, dude. You go work somewhere else, I come with you. Why? Because I have separation anxiety issues. Say you live, for example, in a metaphorical world. You live somewhere, and then you have to work somewhere else. Even though you have a homestead, right? Like you got a place. But you have to drive all the way to that work site, right? And like be at that job. And it's like, I don't care if you're using camp. I don't give a shit. Why? Because as soon as you go to camp, I know what's going on. I don't like it. So I'm coming with you. Why? Because I want to know. Because I'm responsible for you. Because what if you get too drunky wonky? Or what if you guys pick on you and you need somebody to go beat up another guy? Because I don't know. What if they pick on you? I'll be like your good saint and trace and mom. You know? Like, I come in here all hot. Oh, you picking on him? Shame on you. Don't you dare pick on him. Because I'm about to pop you. And then it'd be like... And then they fall on the ground. And it's like, yeah, I'm strong, baby. I got you. That's what I want to do. But my family... Mom's finally easing into it. So it's like real good. She's like, I don't mind if you ran away with an older man. Why? Because then you're the fuck out of my face. Great. You know? Like, good. <laughs> well, it's personal judgment. But by personal judgment, I mean personal referendum of endearment. Referendum. 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 I'm on age, so I can legally fucking do that. So, ha, 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 ha. How do you feel about that? I just tongued my own mouth hole. And it felt weird. Why are you snapping your gun like that? Because some of us can do two things at the same time. Like walk and talk and chip up a gun. I guess that's three things. Think about that. Do the math. Right? I also have an Instagram. Yes. Insta. I never post when I have new videos because I don't want my family watching them. Serious moment there. It's like, why? Because they'll most likely question me and see that I'm talking about them. And it's like, secretly, I know there's like, there's like views on all my videos and I'm like flattered and stuff and it's like wow these people really watch my channel and it's like wow these people really have nothing else better to do it's like I have nothing else better to do to besides talk to you guys anyways because you know it's a hard not life for us it's a hard not life for us we decided we will be in our family for manage it's a hard not life I want to be like Annie and get a Daddy Woolbucks. Be like, Daddy Woolbucks, come here. And you come in all bald and shit. And you'd be like, yo, what you need? Dollars, diamonds, rhinestones. Fine plane in the air that's flown by Hindu magic. What? I'd be like, I want the Hindu flying magic plane. And he's like, fuck you, Annie. I got this. I hired this Hindu Rajabi man called, I can't remember his name, but, but he goes like this. And then they play Punjabi music and then the plane just like goes. And 
and it comes back to you in the air, and it like flies around in Daddy Warbucks's office. It's like, damn shit, he has a better Oval Office than the fucking goddamn Prime Minister. Or like, damn, I got that correct. Fuck yes, fuck you, Trudeau. Well, I need a sugar daddy, so you leaving your ex wife yet? I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to do, but I'm feeling 22. I wish I had, you know, a little bugger for my sugar for my nose. But lots of you don't know what that means. <laughs> so good on me. But it's like, what do you want to show the kids? One second, children. Welcome to new technology. He's welcome. You learn it about the shit, you know? Remember when I filmed that video of me smoking weed in my parents' basement? I would still go smoke weed in the basement knowing I'm going to get smacked up. Why? Because I'm petty. <laughs> and they're like, Chloe, you can't do no drugs. Bad drugs. Drugs are bad. Bad, Chloe. It's like, but I brought you cigarettes. <laughs> it's like, whatever, ponies. It's like, I want a pony. Wouldn't you like to gallivate on a horse? And it go, That'd be fucking epic. But it's like, can I have a Mustang pony? This one goes on the pavement. <laughs> it's like, I wish I had my Audi. I wish I had my Audi. Because my parents thought they sold it from underneath me. But it's okay, apparently it was dangerous to drive. But I'm a dangerous person, so I wanted a dangerous ass car. You know? Like, fuck. For real. I have a rose. Oh shit. Shit's like falling everywhere. Oh, uh, there's some baby's breath. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Rose for you. It's like, Chloe, that's a dead rose. <laughs> it's like, because I love is everlasting. I tried it out, so our love never dies. It's like, a boy bought me a flower for the first time, but it's like, I wish somebody else would buy me flowers and give me a bouquet of them. You know? Like a bouquet of flowers would be nice. And a white dress. You know, one of them type of things. And then we get to throw a soiree. I'm not going to say the word because that's crazy bitch thought. But I love all my exes. And it's like, why did one give me a ring? Fuck shit. He didn't love me. That one that gave me one. It's like, that stupid motherfucker. Now I'm gonna shit on everybody and shit on your life and shit like ash on them. I'm just like, look at their ashing on me, mom. I'm a piece of shit. Fuck, here's the world ashing on me. I'm like, there you go, Chloe. You've been ashed on. Why? Because you're astonishing. And girl, you stop fires. How do you know I stop fires? No, just kidding. I don't start fires. I start a fire in your heart and in your loins. You know what loins are, people. Some of you don't know these words. So I got to snowshee gate and tell you how to fornicate. So we get up, 
We wake up, we fornicate, we fuck, we grow up, we educate, we eat lunch. That sounds good. Sometimes sandwiches are greasy. Have you ever had a greasy grilled cheese sandwich? I could not eat that shit. But remember the sandwich before that? I couldn't eat that sandwich either. I have a problem with sandwiches. My mom's boyfriend made me a sandwich when I was super, 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 super not ready to eat. I guess. <laughs> Without saying the words, I'm high. But she gave me a fucking sandwich. And he made like this tomato sandwich. I don't like tomatoes. I don't eat tomatoes. I don't fucking put them in my cooking. I don't. I don't fucking like them at all. But I ate this really dry ass tomato sa sandwich in front of a guy I liked. And it's like, mmm, because he gave us sandwiches. He's like, here you go, kids. And he's like, thanks, Dad. <laughs> it's like, he's like, and he's like, the guy I'm with, he's like, he was like, you better fucking eat that fucking sandwich, <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> and it's like, okay, nigga. <laughs> it's like, do I know how to cook? No. <laughs> no, we get everybody else to cook for us. It's easier. It's like, teach me. Let's bake a pie together. Let's bake this cake and put frosting somewhere else. <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> I want him to roll up the cooking book and be like, no, now don't touch anything and it's like <laughs> and then you shuffle all the cups and he's like little bitch and it's like what do you want to do bake this cake and fuck me on the kitchen table you know and like, sometimes people just need to get laid i'm one of those people but it's like sometimes we get laid by strangers strangers they're also dangerous Get that through your head, people. But there is like points in time where we're like trying to bake a cake and a metaphor. Hoping one day it's gonna be you. Cause the boy's like, let's go soiree about us. Bake a cake too. And I have somebody bake it for us. And a whole damn meal. It's like, wow, that sounds mighty fancy. It's like, how the fuck is that fancy? Because <laughs> everybody's like, let's put on our other attire. And it's like, ball gowns and dresses. Ball gowns and dresses. But have you ever been? Okay, my mom's been married. She's on her fifth marriage. Okay, that's why I'm thinking about that crap. Because it's like, do I want to be like my mom and get married five times? No, I don't want to get married five times. I want to get married one time. But you only get lucky once. Fuck! Right? And it's like, at least I got a diamond, but I'm not engaged anymore. I still wear it and say my mom gave it to me so boys don't be like infringed like an ex-boyfriend gave it to me. They're like, oh, who that from? I'm like, my mom. Ain't that? Yeah. She gave it to me for my birthday. It's an actual engagement ring from an ex-boyfriend who gave me the tiniest rhinestone in the world. This is not an engagement ring. This is a one-year anniversary ring. The engagement ring is the big fucker. Okay? I want something bigger than this. <laughs> like, I want something flossy. I want something, like, great. I want something, like, out of this world. I want, like, something where girls look at that and it's like, oh, what's that? And it's like, oh, what's that gleam in my eye? And it's like, oh, my God. Ah! And they, like, scream and the girls go, like, ah! I can't believe it. Oh my god, it's so fabulous. But I'm like, God learn, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's kind of astonishing how many times I've been proposed to. And it's still going on. But I haven't found the one yet. I'm just like, not today. Not today, motherfucker. 
It was like, even if my ex did find out about this ring, I'd be like, well, break off yours, I'll break off mine. Duh. Right? And it's like, that's no big deal to break off an engagement. It just means that they weren't the right one. It's just like, come over here. I'll be the right one. You want to win bingo? I'm bingo prize. Bingo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah. <laughs> it's like, gotta flourish it all. Gotta get it all. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it while it's good. And it's like, sometimes we think without thinking. Sometimes I smoke cigarettes. I've been smoking cigarettes for 10 fucking years. Would you believe it? 10 years? 10 years of me smoking smokes. But this video is getting kind of long. It's ranging on 20 minutes. And I don't know what else to do about it. But I didn't sing this time. So like. La 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 Like that shit. I got a gang of that shit. Some people keep tabs on me, some people keep posts. I don't know who watches my videos, but maybe you should call me sometime and be like, Chloe, I watched your YouTube. It's good. I think it's pretty goddamn good, even though I'm sitting here talking and stuff. It's like, can't we all agree? Put the money in my hand, nigga. Put the money in my hand. Oh, your hand in my hand. I don't know. It'd be kind of cute. But I'm a psycho in a good way. Don't let your other psycho know. <laughs> okay? I should have like totes jealous. <laughs> I'm the FM47. Totally FM jealous. So I'm expecting a first class fight. Fiat. Oh, and I have a haunted KFC salt packet. Wanna see it? It's haunted. <laughs> it was like, remember that time we went to KFC? No, just kidding. <laughs> it's a KFC packet from like a different time I went to KFC. Not the time we went to KFC because that'd be fucking weird. Okay, I've had a guy in high school currently who still has my chapstick and sniffs it. I assume he sniffs it or he sticks it up his butthole. And it's like, if you're sticking chapstick up your butthole, I hope you're no longer chapped and I hope your shit comes out smooth. And it's like, does this asshole smell like cherry chapstick? Damn, your asshole's so kissable. It smells like cherries. It's like, yeah, just rub some chapstick on your asshole before somebody goes down on your asshole. And it's like, sometimes I get my asshole eaten out, but it's like, God, I love your asshole, right? God, I love you, asshole. Play that game. What? What? What's that? What's that? You looking at that? Yeah, you guys all lose that game. Fantastical. 